It's an honor for us to be here today. Isn't the Lord good to us? Yes, He is. Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. Praise the Lord. Praise amen. The Lord. We're going to sing, try to sing a few songs. We don't know how many you want us to sing. But just tell us whatever you want us to do. Amen. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll stop and listen to somebody else. <laughs>
God. Reality is, if you live for the Lord, it's going to pay off. Amen. It's going to pay a big dividend. Amen. A big retirement plan. <laughs> it's out of this world. Amen. It's out of this world. Eternal. Hallelujah. <laughs> People today are saying, and rapture is not in the Bible. You just don't believe in the rapture. Oh, I was over at Mother's the other day. We go sometimes on Sunday night after church, and she she doesn't get around too good, but she'll fix dinner to get us to come over, fix supper. And uh, I was watching TV, and this guy got up to preach. He was uh, um, high up in in this denomination. He had a position in this denomination. He got up to preach, and he made a statement. I almost <laughs> fell. I was shocked. He said, if you've been saved, it's not up to you anymore. It's up to God. No wonder people are living like they believe. Yes, amen. It's the truth. Because they're not getting it from the pulpit. Amen. Amen? Yes. Yeah. But if you're getting it from the pulpit, say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. But there's so many false doctrines nowadays oh, God. going around. <clears throat> so many things to be believed. People are hunting new doctrines. Yeah. But God is still the same God. He has the yes, same. Yes, amen. What God has promised you, He will keep it. Amen. 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 I will have to look at the words of this song. God kept His promise. <laughs>
Good song. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Brother Dupree. That's some wonderful singing there. Yes, amen. Truly enjoyed it. And we've got a special day today, and I'd like for Brother Nick and Sister Corlinda to come to the front, please. Yes. Get younger every time I say this. 
And she won't take credit for it, even though credit is due. And I think we ought to have a clerk's appreciation day because she's, she's been a clerk for a number of years, and I, I know that she's never got her just due. And I'd rather give thanks to where it's deserved. And I thank my family who's been with me through the years and all the different congregations we've served in, all their efforts and all those nights of prayer and fastings and yeah. all the things we do that only the Lord knows we do in secret. Yeah. But it's good to know that every once in a while that it is appreciated. And I hope my God be blessed in each and every you a thousand fold. Father, I just pray right now for every person here. Lord, the love and their sacrifice, Father Lord. I don't know what they had to give to make these gifts, Father, but you do. And Lord, I pray that, that, that what they gave, Father, you bless them and multiply it be exponentially, Father. Lord, the sacrifice they gave to make the food and provisions this afternoon, Father. Lord, the, the drive uh, that each and every one of us do to, for your service to win souls to your kingdom, Father, because we know that's all it's about, Father. Lord, it's all about winning souls that all of us can meet together in heaven. And Lord, all those who labor with us, Father, Lord, I pray even more for them than, than what they've done for me and in my family. But Lord, I pray that they'll win souls, Father, wherever they be, Father. Lord, bless this congregation, this church, this community, Father, Lord. I pray that the evil that's tried to prevail against the Father will not uh, uh, be able to uh, take on, Father. Lord, I know that your stripes were good enough for this world, and Lord, I pray that we dedicate this day and all days to you. Christ Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Now, this time, I want to remind everybody we have plenty of food in the fellowship hall. We have lunch after the service this morning. So don't eat late, leave. We've got plenty of food. And now, I'd like to turn the service over to Brother Sims, our district overseer. Uh, he'll be bringing the message this morning, and he also has a presentation. Thank you so much. This is an exciting day. First of all, it's the Father's Day. We are here to worship our Heavenly Father, to exalt His name, and then we're here to honor our pastor. This is a very special day. I am especially kind and kin and appreciative of pastors. Kind of like the truck driver could be because I are one. <laughs> but, but I love pastors. They have a special place in my heart. And then to come closer home than that, I love your pastor. Our pastor. I love Brother Nick and his family. And I want to tell you that he's a Christian, whether he's at church or on the job or anywhere he is, he's a Christian. And I think that's the greatest attribute that can be given to an individual is that they serve the Lord. They're not just, uh, uh, you know, fly by night. And I appreciate that. I want to remind all of us that pastors are a gift from God. God given. Yeah. I was in a certain city and had parked my vehicle on uh, the street in the proper place and a semi truck came by and swiped uh, the back of my pickup and then sped out and went on down the road and uh, I happened to see him when he did so I go to the city hall and I say to uh, the chief of police my vehicle was just wrecked and the driver of the truck kept going and uh, didn't stop he said which way did he go and I told him he said get in my car I got in his car and we went on a chase. And by the time we got there, this truck driver had gotten to the next town. I'm telling you all that to, to tell you what I want to tell you. But we got to the next town and he, the police stopped him. 
And uh, he said, park your truck here. You're going with me. And he got in the uh, police car. And uh, all the way back, this chief of police really, really, really reprimanded him. I felt sorry for him. And I felt embarrassed. He said to him, you have hit a pastor's car. This man is an angel of God. And you have hit his vehicle and didn't stop and ran off and you're going to pay. You're going to pay. And oh, I heard that all the way. He had me so embarrassed. I felt so sorry for that man. But I want to tell you, some folks appreciate pastors. Amen. Others, you know, kind of like to uh -oh. have pastor for lunch on Sunday or uh, other things. But uh, thank God for those who appreciate the man of God yeah. because they are a gift of God. I just want to, uh, I'm going to give a presentation in just a minute, but I think I might ought to go ahead and do that now. But don't you appreciate pastors? Yeah. I appreciate the new priest. I you folks get better and better and better. Yeah. I've always heard you get better with age. Well, they really do. Yeah. And I thought, man, Sister Dupree can make that man sound good. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I really, really love the Duprees. Love their singing. I appreciate these folks. They are choice servants of God. They have blessed so many churches and so many people. And I appreciate them and consider them some of our choice friends. You not only have uh, a pastor in uh, the person of Brother Nick, but you also have a pastor, not just a pastor's wife, but a pastor in the person of his wife, Sister Carlinda. She has found her call in the ministry. Brother Dick, if you will, you and Sister Carlinda come up front, right up here with me. Stand by me. Uh, she has applied for her exhorters, her credentials, and has taken the test, been tested by the examining board, and uh, as the district goes there, this is going and coming. I don't know what, maybe it's me. But as a uh, district goes here, we receive the first step of uh, the ministry. And thank you. And uh, let's see, I'll be like that better. This is in America. Let me try that. This is in America. Thank you. All right, now that's better. So, uh, as District Overseer, it's my privilege to sign and deliver the uh, Exhorter's Certificate. And uh, I want to, first of all, congratulate you and commend you for your, for your commitment to the ministry. And uh, what this certificate indicates is that you are to preach at least four times a week. <laughs> I, really, well, I, I shouldn't say that. Nick, Nick said she probably had to slow down to just do four. <laughs> I remember when I first started in the ministry, I thought, wow, preparing three sermons a week, I just don't know that I can do it. And then when I started preaching every night somewhere, I said, my goodness, what have I got into? But uh, I want to tell you, the more you do it, the more you like it. Just like eating banana pudding. The more banana pudding you eat, the better you like it. And uh, this has been uh, signed by the state overseer and uh, the district overseer, as I mentioned. And we deliver this to you today knowing that you are going to do great things for the Lord. Amen. And I commend you for the Jesus. Thank you very much. Hey, I want you to say something now. It's your turn. Um, I'd just like to say thank you to Brother Nick for 
for those who have supported me um, during this journey. And I'm not quite done. I still have the MIP program to go through, so just keep me in prayer. Uh, that'll be a, about another six or nine months to go through before MIP is over with. And uh, um, uh, as the uh, camp meeting thing seemed to be, he's not done with us yet. Uh, just looking forward to tomorrow and what the Lord has in store and uh, just following his will and his his calling and uh, all I can say is yes Lord it was that or I was going to lay on my kitchen floor face down for a while longer but um, I finally <laughs> agreed and he let me up but um, I'm just thankful to be a servant of the Lord Amen Praise God, give her a hand I don't tell you without talking you can't shake it off I know a man that tried and a man that was miserable until I made my commitment to the Lord. I want the new priest to come back and sing another two or three songs, if you will. And we're just glad that they're with us today, aren't we? Yes, amen. I'm glad you in song today. Worship with us and come back and sing again. Sometimes you remember when you hear a song. The first time we heard this song, we said it right. Never heard a song just exactly like this one. Um, it was the root son in law. And Greg Day, I believe, is his name. And we went to hear the root sang, and the days were singing, then they had a group. And they got up and sung this song. And I said, God, I've got a track on this. And I got to do this. And it was for a while. We had to wait some years until the wisdom finally recorded this song. My sins are gone. Worship with us.
Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. You want to do number seven?
appreciation day. Amen? Amen. Be kind to your pastor. Let your pastor know that you love uh, him and, and them and his family. I remember when I first started pastoring, and forgive me for being personal, when I first started pastoring, I made an announcement to my church. You can treat me any way you want to, but you better be good to my family. <laughs> you don't have any choice about being good to my family. Treat me any way you want to. I'm big. I can, I can take it. But when you show love to your family, to my family, you're showing love to me. Amen. 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 And for 37 years, they listen and they, they uh, adhere. And I thank God for that. Hallelujah. I want to talk a little bit about the pastor. But before I do, I want to give space to you. Maybe you'd like to say something about your pastor. Uh, I know he's got a, a mother and a father here. And, and if at least, at least one of them doesn't say something good about him, he's in trouble. Amen. So I, I'm going to give space. Anybody, would you like to make some remarks about your pastor? You know, we've heard that expression, no news is good news. <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to accept it as that today. And uh, just tell you that I love your pastor. speak. Yes. I like to say to my pastor and his wife and family on the behalf of me and my husband 
We love y'all so much. And we appreciate y'all. And you're not more, and you're not just our pastor. You're a family. And I want to say that I appreciate y'all just lifting us up, encouraging us, and praying for us. And I want to say you're always there anytime. You know, I've heard preachers say, if it's in the middle of the night, don't you call me. But for the next, I'm going to pick up the phone up and call you. And I don't believe you would never say that to me. And I appreciate you and Carlanda, you know, as children. You make us laugh. You make us smile. You give us strength. And you pray for us and you encourage us. And I praise you and I thank you for it. I praise God for it and I thank you for it, me and my husband. And I always want, I want to say this. Jesus Christ, when he called a preacher to carry his word, he also packed in that gift. He also knowed within that, all that gift, he knew he couldn't be here in body. He's here in spirit, but he couldn't be here in body. So he gave us a pastor with two hands and two arms. And when we needed a hug, that pastor was there. And I want to thank you on behalf of me and my husband for your hugs, for your love, for your strength, for your lifting us up. Praying for us and praying for my family. Because yeah. y'all know what we've come through and what we're going through now. And I praise, I praise God for, for the work and the gift that he's given y'all. And I know that being in a family and married into a family of pastors, it's not easy. It's not easy. But... I thank God and I just want to thank y'all for being our pastor and being there for us. And we love y'all. And it comes from me and my husband's heart. And and we're there. We want to be the backbone. We want to be the other hand. Sometimes a pastor and his wife needs another hand. Yes. That commercial says sometimes you need another hand. Well, sometimes a pastor needs another hand. Right. And I want to say, by the grace of God and the strength and the knowledge and the wisdom that he gives me and my husband, I want to say we want to be that other hand. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. I just feel like the Lord wants to do something for both of y'all this morning. Amen. Amen. Working in family. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're moving in a mighty way. Yes, Lord. Praise God. Glory to God. I believe there's a healing Fresh anointing. Minister. Oh, to get a what what are we just all get? Oh, 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 you can do it. Oh, it's okay. Oh, you can do it. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray right now. Lord, Oh, Lord, 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 Lord,
Hallelujah. I love you, Lord. I love my bed. Oh, I love you, my Savior. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo! Glory, 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 glory.
praise God. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, oh hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Oh,
Then the pastor charge had been said that uh, pastor's always there. That's wonderful. Now he's there for two reasons. One of two reasons. One, he's there because he wants to be. Secondly, he's there because he needs to be. And he's always there. He, the pastor's awesome. God never calls anybody into the ministry that's not able to do the job. He's an awesome man. Most pastors could be making far more money doing other things than they do pastoring. But uh, he loves God so much that he just wants to give him his very best. Then under the letter A, he's alert. <laughs> I used to tell God, God, I'm afraid you made me too alert. I'm afraid I see things and know things and hear things that I would be better off not if I did. And uh, the pastor's alert. You ever seen a dog when you whistle for them or call their name? They'll throw their ears up. That's kind of the way the pastor is. Your pastor especially. <laughs> I'm picking up my buddy. The pastor's sturdy like a rock. Amen. The winds blow, the devil howls, the devil growls. He stands there. He doesn't flinch. He doesn't run. But he looks the devil straight in the face. And he says, get out of here, devil. I resist you in the name of Jesus. You've got to leave. You've got to go. And he's sturdy. The pastor is studious. Scripture said, study to show yourself approved. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. And always study. Amen. Amen. He's studious. He's sanctified. Whether he teaches it or not, whether his church teaches it or not, a pastor, it just seems to work better if he's sanctified. Yeah. He's solid. Solid as a rock. He's steadfast, not movable, always about me in the work of God. He's smart. Under the letter T, he's tactful. I was counseling with some uh, folks this past week, and they were telling me what they were going to do. Oh, they were ferocious. And I said, wait a minute, you've got to be tactful. You can't, you can't do it the way you want to do it. You've got to be tactful with it. The pastor's tense. He's always tense. Amen. He's thorough. He's tested. He's tough. Under the letter O, he's organized. Uh, it sure helps better if you're organized. He's ordained. You see, the pastor is called of God and ordained by the church. So he's ordained. He's on the job. He's very observant. I noticed Brother Nick, especially when his wife was speaking, he was very observant. And he wanted to make sure he wanted to make sure of that uh, first pledge. The pastor is revered. He's respected. That word to simply means respected. He's revered, appreciated. And Brother Dave, it took me many, many, many years, Pastor, to realize that I was respected, I was appreciated. And the older you get, the more reverence or respect you will receive because you've earned more. I remember as a young man, my wife and I went one night to uh, the death in the community and you know years ago we used to go set up and so we went and I was uh, sitting up and we were sitting there I think drinking coffee we decided to way over in the wee hours of the morning we'd go home and on the way home I said all of those folks stared at me all night long I, could, I couldn't I, I know I'm not the, well I just couldn't understand why they were staring 
And she said, it's because you're a young man and you have given your life to God. And they just are amazed. Now, you know that was years ago, but you're, you're so young and yet so committed to God. Under the letter R, I've got two more and I'm closing. Under the letter R, the pastor's always ready. <laughs> Amen. If you don't believe the pastor's ready to preach, give him an opportunity. He's always ready. And uh, he's finally, the pastor is repenting. If I need to, Lord, forgive me. Oh, God, maybe I didn't do what I should have done. On, I, or I should have said it like I should have said it. So forgive me. If the pastor ever gets to the place we feel like we don't need to repent, we're in trouble. So he's repenting. Amen. you got a wonderful pastor. I love Brother Dick. He's one of my choice friends. He's my buddy. And, uh, we just have a real good relationship, and uh, I, I appreciate him and his family. He's got one of the sweetest families I've ever met. He got something. His children are precious. They are wonderful. I was calling uh, Chloe outside when we walked up. We were talking to uh, she and Samuel, and I said, "Hello, brother Samuel." And she walked up, and I said, "Hello, brother Chloe." She said, hello, Sister Sims. <laughs> oh, they're precious. Amen. And his parents, he's got wonderful parents and a family. I want to commend the family. I want to commend you for supporting I mean that. I mean that. They love you, buddy. They love you. I, I just... Uh, I, he wouldn't be the same without you folks. I want to tell you, I, I commend you for driving uh, over from Hamilton and coming to Lynn to support your son. That's, that's just wonderful. That, I just believe God's pleased with it. I'll turn it back to you, Pastor. Are you going to dismiss it? Father, thank you for the food we're about to partake on. Thank you for all of those who have gone the second mile and have brought uh, the second dish so that we could enjoy wonderful fellowship and food together. Thank you for this awesome day, for the wonderful privilege to be in service with the new priests and to hear them sing again. Thank you for the anointing that's upon their life, for the call of God that you've placed on them, for the talent that you have given to them. Thank you for this church that has rallied around and supported the pastor even before this day. But I thank you for what you've done and what you're going to do and the way you're going to continue to bless this church. In Jesus' name, amen.